Yeah, the rain's still coming down, not desperately hard, but enough to make it miserable out there. Well, I don't know how Morgan get up as high as that. That's Toombs, who's well in, taken by his opposite number, Michael Cosgrave, the current skipper. And Mickford's given on the wrong side, and there's Matt Ryan, I think, was looking to get himself involved. I don't know that anybody would want to particularly get involved with them. He looks rather formidable. Noel Mannion can't quite direct his tap. Scott Young to Warwick Wall. He's 18 and a half stones and six foot eight, so he's hard to stop. Eckert. I think the Australians using American football tactics and actually doing a bit of blocking off the ball. And that will give Aiden White another chance at goal, I've no doubt. Right in front of the posts. And the touch judges hesitated, but eventually the flags went up and the referee has said no. The referee has said no. The scoreboard put up perhaps a little bit quickly. One touch judge said yes, the other said no. Then one said yes. And the referee, who was right in front of the post, said that's not going to happen. Well, my goodness. It was Garrick Morgan against Steve Jemison. Billy Mulcahy doesn't look too straight to me. And the Australians moving across the line. It was Matt Ryan, the tight head prop, and a free to Connett. Now, they can't drop a goal directly from the kick being taken, but if they set up the ruck, they can then do it. Oh, no, Mannion thumped down with a vengeance. That's Billy Mulcahy, and Mannion is hurt, and quite badly hurt, it seems. Elwood, nice reverse pass to him. This is Colin Leahy. Well run by Leahy. Great support from Aidan White. Oh, Colin really playing some inspired forward rugby. But they've contrived to lose it. That's only as far as Eckert. This is Toombs. And that's out to Damian Smith. And Smith gets a very good touch indeed. Well, Anthony Herbert, this uh, eight times capped Queenslander, has got a thump in the back and seems to be coming off. In fact, he is coming off and he really, big hefty guy, looks more like a back row forward and Australia will be fielding a replacement and the crowd will be delighted because coming on is none other than one D.I. Campese. Bob Templeton with him. And Herbert's really herpling off, as they say, in this part of the world. And this will be greeted with uh, a fair old cheer. And he was nice and warm sitting in there. And he's got to face the cold of a go-away afternoon for a warm reception by the Connacht crowd. The main thing that Aiden White has to worry about is a wind which has dropped very slightly, so it's of no great advantage to him, and it's not swirling. And the flags go up this time. No hesitation on the part of the touch judges. And the Connacht scrum slewing round. That's Walsh, who's lost his headband. Well done by big Steve Jemison, and that's the second row partner, Tim Cochran. Irish international, Tom Clancy playing his club rugby in Dublin after a year or so with London Irish. Lawless, Elwood. This is nice stuff. It was Tommy. This is Aidan White. Maybe he just held on that bit long, but he's kicked sensibly. Chase for Leahy. Across comes Damian Smith. And Smith has to dive over the line as Colin Leahy closed him down. And some great enterprise by Colin for a scrum of the second half. Australians with a man advantage in the scrummage. Uh, Coker's exploited that well on the narrow side. Well tackled, well laid back by them. There's Garrick Morgan taking it on. Support from Warwick Waugh. This is good driving stuff by Sam Scott Young. Coker, his skipper's there to help him. That's Eckert. Oh, that's great driving once again by Morgan. A bit slow to support. There's Crowley's there and Ryan, who launched forward. And Connett, penalised. And this is a good chance for Australia to get back on level terms. Kelleher with the first half penalty. Starts the second half with a very straightforward success. And there's big John Eels. The number one line-out man in this tour for the Wallabies warming up. The Australians in a pretty good position. Well, that's well taken in dreadful conditions. Tidied up by Dan Crowley, who's rumbling forward. Great drive by the Wallabies, and the try has been given. 
Well taken indeed, and underneath that mass of gold is the tight head prop, Matt Ryan, his very first game on tour. Connor win it. Elwood, who's been the pick of the column three quarters, gets it away. Kelleher responds. White waits. Well. No mistake by Lawless and by Fitzgibbon, who's recovered well. But the Connor pack have got to come streaming back. The referee looks at the watch and says, I'm not going to give a scrum, I'm going to blow the whistle. And an afternoon, a freezing cold, wet, miserable afternoon in Galway ends a great performance by traditionally the weakest of the Irish provinces, Connacht. But the Australian midweek team getting through by a final scoreline of 14 points to six. Unbelievable conditions here in Galway, and Nick, as we look at the conditions here at Lansdowne Road, we've got a bit of a shake-up, but the boys really did it tough there. Yeah, it didn't look too pleasant, did it? They talk about the warm Irish hospitality. That certainly wasn't pleasant conditions, but Matt Ryan, see the jubilation when he scored, and I um, have no doubt that when Matt's a grandfather, that try will be about a 60-metre one with a few sidesteps and a chip kick included in it. Well, so far the tour has taken its toll. We've seen two players already go back, Cameron Lillicrap and Tony Daly. Uh, Anthony Herbert about to go back on uh, on Sunday. We've got new players, Matt Ryan, who scored the try. Uh, and the latest one we have uh, is Tim Wallace. Yeah, it's been very sad for the guys who are at home, uh, of course, Tony and, and, um, and Crapper. Um, and, and Herbie goes tomorrow. All great guys, and um, it's very sad for the team. But, of course, um, some guys drop out, the new guys come in. And uh, Timmy, fantastic to have him here in Ireland. He's just arrived, and uh, he's now Wallaby. Fantastic. Timmy, you're just off the plane. What's it like to uh, arrive from uh, Chatswood Oval to a magnificent ground like this at Lansdowne Road? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, you know, two days ago I was sitting at home, and uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't ever believe that I'd be here in a couple of days. It's Fantastic. Your name was touted as a possible South African tourist and then you injured yourself. Did you think the chance might have gone by? Well, yeah, I mean, I was, I was disappointed that the injury came at that time, but, um, you know, I, I just thought if I kept plugging away, you know, maybe the opportunity would come and uh, it came a lot sooner than I thought. Well, it's wonderful to see you here. All the very best of the tour as you go towards Wales and uh, enjoy it every minute of it. Oh, well, thanks very okay. much. You enjoy yourself in the commentary box too, Nick. We'll take a break here.